What's up y'all, how you doing? It's your boy Dog from EBF Academy by English Black Friday. And guess what? Today, we're gonna talk about the uses of ING. So stick to the end because that's mind blowing. Goodbye. Oh no! Let's go. All right, so let's go for the first use of the ING. The first use, very simple, something that's happening right now. Something that's happening right now. For example, I am recording a video. You are watching this video. So we use the verb with the ING for something that's happening right now. So you have the verb to be in the present form plus the ING. I am recording the video, you are watching the video, and you are already liking this video, making comments, and clicking on the bell down below so that you can receive the notifications. Sound clear? What is your sister doing right now? What is your mom doing right now? My mother is cooking right now and my sister probably she is driving right now, but I don't know. Sound good? Another thing that's very important about the ING when it comes to verbs like that is that we can use that for the future plans. So whenever you have something that's not going to change, you can use the sentence, I am recording more videos next week. This is a plan. I'm not going to change my plan. I'm doing it. Sound good? So the plan you have for tomorrow. My question about it is, what are you doing tomorrow at 7 p.m.? If you're not doing anything, you know what you should be doing. You should be reading a book in English so that you can learn more and more. Sound good? Let's get to the next. All right, so the second example, the second use of ing is whenever you want to transform a verb into a noun. It could be in the beginning of a sentence, for example, you say fumar faz mal para a saúde. So you want to say that in English. Smoking is bad for your health. Drinking too much is bad for your health too. Driving is one of my favorite activities. Speaking English is my favorite activity. Oh, traveling is also my favorite activity. I have so many favorite activities. What is your favorite activity? Let me know here. So you can start with a verb with ing that will transform that verb into the noun or the subject of the sentence and then you continue. For example, playing soccer is one of my favorite activities too. Sound good? Let's get to the next. All right, so this is the use number three. Well, we use the ing for verbs after prepositions. For example, thank you for coming. You know, for is a preposition. So right after that, we use the verb come with the ing. Thank you for coming. Well, I don't know if you're interested in working here. Interested in, in is a preposition, so the verb right after that is with ing. I don't know if you're interested in working here. Are you interested in watching horror movies? Are you into smoking marijuana? Are you into drinking with your friends? What are you interested in? I'm interested in playing video games with my best friends. Sound good? So right after a preposition, this verb comes with the ing. Let's get to the next. All right, for the use number four, I have a list of verbs that will be in the description down below. So all you have to do is to go there, check it, but before you go there, learn a little bit of them. There are three verbs that mean exactly the same thing. The verb stop, quit, and give up. After these verbs, we use the ing. For example, my father stopped smoking. So the verb is stop and smoking is with the ing. So my father stopped smoking. Yes, that's the reality. He really quit smoking. Oh, you don't believe? Man, he really gave up smoking. So you see, the three verbs mean exactly the same thing and right after them, we use a verb with ing. Another verb that we use ing right after that is the verb enjoy. For example, well, what do you enjoy doing on the weekend? Well, on the weekend, I enjoy having lunch with my family at home. And also, I enjoy going to a restaurant with my girlfriend. I also enjoy driving up and down the streets. What do you enjoy? 
All right, let's get to the next. All right, so before you go, don't forget, don't forget to like the video. So actually the verb like is in that list too, but like can be used either with to or with ing. For example, I like to watch your videos or I like watching your videos. Both would be like that. But this use here is very, very good and it's very important. Look at that. Some of the adjectives that we use, they come from verbs. I'll give you some examples. The first verb is the verb to frustrate. My God, my friend frustrated me. If he frustrated me, that situation was frustrating. So we use the verb frustrate with ing, but in this case, the situation was frustrating. So this frustrating is an adjective. And we have many adjectives that come from verbs. For example, I feel frustrated because that situation was frustrating. Well, but remember that day when we went to the beach? Oh, that beach amazes me. That beach is amazing. I feel amazed. Sound good? So you can have situations that are frustrating. You can have situations that are interesting. They're worrying. They're disturbing. There are many different situations. So as you can see in here, what are the adjectives that you would describe this video down below? You'd say that this video is amazing, interesting. Well, let me know in the comment section below and that's gonna be awesome. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next video, forms of using ING.